having a bad English day. Life's against me. Hey everyone, so today I thought I would film the TMI tag for you. Just so you guys can get to know a little bit more about me and yeah, that's pretty much it really. Just so you can be nosy, really, that's what TMI tags are for, right? Anyway, onwards and upwards, here we go with the TMI tag. Woo! Have it on my phone. That's cracking to it, okay. Uh, what are you wearing? Uh, I'm wearing a dress I picked up from Wild Pear and it's the Little E's label and I have well, you know, it's a little black has really cool zip in the back of it and then I'm wearing tights I don't know if you can actually see and my favourite Windsor Smith boots which I love to pieces and are now falling apart Oh no, I clicked out of it You ever been in love? You ever had a terrible breakup? No? <laughs> you seem sensing like a trend here? Uh, how tall are you? I am about 5 foot 3 I think. About 160. So yeah, I'm short. In other words. Any piercings? Just my ears. I'm too chicken and I don't like needles to get anything else done. Although I really really want to. Last time you said you'd love someone. That would have been last night when I went to bed. I think I said I love you to mum. I'm a mummy's girl, okay. The book you're currently reading. Where is it? Where is the book? Uh, for anyone outside New Zealand, this will make no sense at all because you'll have no idea who this guy is. But it's a New Zealand journalist called Mike McRoberts. Um, and this book came out about three years ago now. But yeah, he is basically an autobiography about him being a journalist and everything and he's and on the back I love this quote um I guess to truly know your own boundaries you need to step over them at least once um but yeah if you're interested in media um how the media works or anything or journalism definitely go check this book out it's called Beyond the Front Line um I found it online so and now there's a rubbish truck over like brand new Asheville. Um, a place you want to visit. I would... I have my heart actually set on going to the Rugby World Cup in England next year. I'm a broke student so that ain't gonna happen. Uh, but basically I want to visit Europe and the UK in general. It's, it's insane that you can drive from one country to another in like a couple of hours. New Zealand, our nearest country, is three and a half hour plane right away. <laughs> Uh, the relationship between you and the last person you texted. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Uh, last person I texted was my best friend Ruby, one of her uni friends who I met last week. And he basically, they wanted me to come out to a bar last night and I didn't, so I just got text bombed by this random number. Turns out it was Sam. Um, yeah, I didn't end up going out, so sorry guys. Last place you were. What does that mean right now? House? Last place you were. I haven't left the house today. Yeah. Favourite film? My favourite film of all time. No matter what, if I'm feeling down, I will watch this and I feel insanely better. <sighs> Rubbish truck, why you gotta be so loud? Uh, my favourite film of all time would have to be 500 Days of Summer. Joseph Gordon-Levitt is wonderful and I love the whole way it's filmed, edited, written, acted, is that even a thing? Acted, that's the thing. Um, basically, then the whole time is a pun, what more would you want? It is, yeah, no, I absolutely love it. It reflects a lot about what I think in life, that everything happens for a reason and it's all fate and coincidences, so. Favourite piece of jewellery? I haven't really got a favourite piece, um, but these are kind of what I wear every day. So I have my Karen Walker wee cat ring. And then this one is from the Sydney Markets. And my best friend who lives in Sydney got the same one, so we both wear them. And I have my 
silver bangle, and then you have my o'clock watch, which I love to pieces. Um, these are really cool because you can buy different faces and different bands for them, so you can make different colours and stuff. And lastly is my Pandora bracelet. And basically I hope you guys have learnt a little bit more about me. Make sure you hit like if you did enjoy this video, uh, hit the subscribe button, and I will catch you all next week. Bye!